Hey, so this is Selectman Rick Barnett. It's awkward to be here at the Lebanon Fire Station 1 to talk and answer questions to anybody that uh, wanted to know more about what was going on here with uh, the single wide trailer project. I was a little bit disturbed, Rick. Four people showed up, but it's four people that learned, right? Yep, good information. And hopefully they'll spread the information. And I thought, uh, since maybe some of you were busy on a Saturday morning, that we'd take this time to do a video. So, Rick, you were showing me uh, the septic system here, um, uh, the septic tank. Yep, the tank is over here between these two stakes, yep. the green lid, yep. thousand gallon tank. That is okay, it does not leak. The leach field is not under the pad. The leach field is dug up. It's been exposed to pipes. And here, three and a half feet off the pad, starts the first pipe. Then five feet is the second pipe. And the third pipe is here, which is lined up to the pad. No D box. So the pipe and stone. It's never had fabric or hay over it since 1977. And it runs through. Here, the 30 feet that way is fine. So, pretty close to the road. It's probably 30 uh, feet off the road? It's 30 feet. No, not quite that far, because that's, that's 60 feet. So, it's about halfway. It's about just on the other side of that fence. That's so far. Okay, so that's the septic that you all have been questioning if it's under the pad. It's not. Way to go. So this is the back door to the fire station over here. And tell us what's happening with that back door, right? This this door is, is basically not conforming. It's only two eight door. This door has to be three feet wide from entry and exit. Because of ADA qualification. Yeah. This is going to have an outside door lock, but on the inside it's going to have a crash bar. So if anybody's in the building, they can just hit the bar and they're up. Even if the door is locked from the outside. Yep you'll be able to exit from the inside. Right. So this, um, they call it like the sidewalk, right? Yeah, we made a pad because by the time we just did a little sidewalk, it was already there. So the stairs, the door to the trailer is right here on this edge, 22 feet from the beginning of the door down. We're gonna use, you'll see in a little bit, we're gonna use the stairs that are on the Stephen King trailer because they are very nice. And it's just gonna come down this way three, four steps, and then they'll turn, and they'll be able to go right through the building, and when they go through that building, their apparatus is straight ahead. Correct. So, <laughs> so this is uh, the drainage. Yep, the drainage. That's this is the main sewer, which goes to the tank, which we have hooked up a brand new line all the way through to the edge of the building there. That's Perfect. what was on this budget. And that is where we had issues uh, before with the previous septic, the big emergency, right? Yep. So this is all brand new line all the way to the building. This here is, this was an add-on because nobody caught it, but this is communication ah, that we perfect. put in. That's why that's in there. Some people are wondering why, but there's communications in there, so it's, it's sitting right there and we can plug in. So nothing's overhead. Great. So I want you to notice the generator, and a lot of people have uh, asked about the generator. There was some talk about it being moved. It's actually not going to be moved. It was too much of an expense. It's going to stay right there. That generator is going to continue to run the station, uh, and this trailer, should there have be a power outage, yep. is going to be run by a temp, like a temporary temporary generator, generator like you would have at home. Yep. You know, you wheel it out of your garage and you plug it in, and that's going to be what runs this trailer separately from the station. Yep, and that transfer switch is going to be on that end of the trailer, so they can just pull up and plug right into it. Okay, and these propane tanks are also staying right where they're at uh this trailer is a propane based trailer as far as like for cooking and heating and stuff like that uh and those propane tanks are also going to stay and not be moved and we're going to have a new propane tank brought in over there okay. uh, so that'll be separate from these these are to run oh, I see. the generator yep these are to run the, the and generator. we'll have a separate one for the trailer right so we're not so 
like, what's up with this trailer? That was 35 grand from Stephen King. Uh, this trailer is actually moving. It's not going to be here. I've had a lot of people complaining. Um, the tongue is on this end of the trailer, and they think that they have to take it out over the new slab. That's not true, is it, Rick? Nope, we're going to take it back. Eddie B. Yep. The Eddie solution B. man, that's for sure. Eddie B. Towing is actually going to move this back this way toward the road and then he's going to take it to the transfer station, right? What yep. are they going to do with it at the transfer station, right? Uh, the kids going to move it for training. Yeah. I don't think they're going to burn it. I think it's going to be some training. Somewhere. Smoke training. Yeah. And then, yeah. So if you've never seen smoke training, what they do is they create a kind of an obstacle course, like going through a kitchen or going down a hallway and through a bedroom. They fill the trailer up with smoke, and then uh, your firefighters have to navigate through that. Some places make it a little bit of a competition. Yeah. You know, other places are just like, at a boy, at a boy. But that's what they're looking to do with this trailer is smoke training and um, other types of training. You'll see it at the transfer station once it moves. But uh, moving on forward, this slab, yeah, the foundation, the wall, the slab, uh, there's been a bad problem as you all know, because I, I know you've heard me complain, <laughs> but with snow load coming off this This is actually going to be remedied when we move this trailer. Out. Now, what they do with this slab, we still don't know, right? Well, what I'm looking at doing is I'm going to cut that wall right off, flush with the floor. Just like they did here? Yep, just like they did there. Yeah, I'm going to try to cut it off, plop that out, and if they got a plow, they can start plowing from here to here and put the snow this way so it would eliminate some of that snow. To, to come off. That, that's that's my goal. Right. And so this trailer won't be here, but tell them the interesting thing we're doing with the steps, because you alluded to it. Right. Over there. These stairs here, which are aluminum stairs, very, very expensive, nice. These stairs here are going to be for this trailer. For the new trailer. Yep, because it's, everything is pretty much the same. We, they're adjustable. We're going to make them work for this. So we saved a lot of money by having these. So. That's we like saving money there. A lot of money. <laughs> and um, and this door now that goes into what we always call the meeting room. Chief calls it, I think, the training room. Um, but this door here is also going to be changed out, correct? I'm assuming I haven't really seen all the logistics on that because that's something else with what's going on inside for quotes and such. But but the main purpose of this door is, is for them to come out. They'll probably have to make it three foot, maybe. And this here is going to be the walkway to go to the back of the trailer, which is the other stuff, the other set of stairs, because there's a door in the back that's going to be used for decontamination. This, this spot right here that you're all complaining about, this is the decon area of this new trailer. So people, people have asked, like, oh, will they have to walk in through the trailer to get to the decon room? The answer is no. There's going to be a second set of steps over on this side, correct? Over, yeah, on this yeah. side. There's over right on about this up side. in here. There's a back door. So they'll be able to come right out of the bay, through that back door, into these steps, and into the decon room, where they can then relieve themselves of their dirty gear, um, change into street clothes, have a shower, change into some street clothes, and that will all happen at this end of the trailer, right? Yes. Okay. Yay. So, actually, I have some really great news about the trailer yep. itself. It is actually here in Lebanon. Yep. It's, yep. It's, 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 it's here at the, at the dealers. And we're hoping, cross your fingers, dot your I's, cross your T's, we're hoping to see it here on the slab on Wednesday. Wednesday. Right? Yeah. What's that, the 15th, 14th? 14th? Something like that. 14th or 15th. But we're hoping to see it here on this slab on Wednesday. So I hope that you'll all come down and talk to Chief about it and see the new trailer. 
and uh, I hope more of you come than what came to this little informational meeting today because this was really a great meeting. Rick had a lot of really great stuff. Um, Rick has his prices here. We gave them 150000 for the trailer and the site work. Currently, they're sitting at 107000 with their quotes that they have. Um, it's looking like you might make it for 150, yep. Rick. Yeah, well, we have good. yeah we have to put the sidewalk cover in, which mm -hmm. I haven't designed it yet because it's going to be up to code. We got any quotes and the septic system? They're coming next week. That's why the excavators here. Next week, not this week. Next week. Yeah. Well, no, this week coming. Okay. It's Monday through Friday. Don't know, but the designer Mark Truman's going to come in and dig, and dig a test pit to see where we can put the septic, and then go from there and get quotes on that. So the only other thing that may be a problem is on that old uh, trailer foundation slab, whatever you want to call it, uh, that front corner may, may be in a, an actual easement, which it can't be. So some type of alteration may have to be made to that slab. We're not sure, but I am grateful, uh, Rick, that you're following through with all the codes, that you're following through with all the surveys, that you're yep. following through with everything that everybody was worried about, and you have all the answers. Um, the only other thing I do want to address is when people are complaining bids, bids, bids. Um, no. Rick says bids a lot. Yeah. There have been no bids, but they are addressing a quote system where they're getting three quotes when they can, yep. but this is all moving so quickly, the bid process would be 30 days, put it out to bid, uh, first they'd have to write the bid, which yep. takes Take time. Yep. 30 days uh, before they can open the bid, and then the bid contract process, each one of these steps along the way would be a 90 day delay. So in reality, uh, like I talked to Rick and he agreed this, these bids should have all been started long ago. We're ready to move on this now, and this is all happening. But uh, in talking to Rick, I, I'm very confident that he is doing his best to get three quotes um, on every uh, step of this, and that the quotes he are getting uh, are valid. They're not yep. like outrageous or way out of price. And right now he's at 107,000 with this, and I think uh, we're going to be okay with the 150. So good job, Lebanon, on supporting our fire department and getting this trailer. Uh, good job, Chief, on identifying that trailer for uh, maybe a smoke training that other departments in the area can also use. And uh, great job, Rick, oh, thank on you. Uh, getting this all done. It's been needing to be done for a long while. Thanks. Thanks. Have a good one.